So I, while we were rewatching this and I was thinking of interview questions, I realized I have no idea how you make a, how you make a movie. So I just had like some basic questions for, well, to answer Jared and I's questions, but hopefully answer questions from the audience too, of just like, how do you find the actors? And I mean, was the longest process writing it or was it editing? I mean, I don't even know where you would begin. Okay, so um, I guess I'll start from the top. So uh, I, I wrote it pretty fast. Like when I write a novel, it usually takes me like two to three weeks. Um, now I, I plot everything out first and I do like an extensive outline. Mm -hmm. But The Killing Death was my first attempt at a screenplay. The rule of thumb is usually one page is a minute. So I'm like, I know I want it to be a feature. So I got to write at least, you know, 65 pages. That's what I did. I wrote 65 pages. Then we had the script, so we literally went to an acting school in the city, and uh, we sat in on a class to watch, because we knew, like, you know, we're not going to get, like, professional yeah. working actors that, want, that aren't going to get paid. Right. So we watched the class, and then we put up, like, a casting call, and then uh, I went to the film co-op and put up the casting call there, and we literally had the casting call in my backyard. <laughs> like, I, like I put some patio chairs out in the plate of cookies and we <laughs> photocopied the pages and for the characters and people showed up so like we we I don't know how many people maybe 20 people showed up so we did like you know all the actors that would say okay well you could probably be for this character and you could be for this character and they would come in and read and we recorded everything and then we watched back so we could see like who we think was best and it was pretty clear like the guy who played Frank and the guy who played the professor were like, and the guy who played uh, the younger cop, Jimmy, they were like the three leads. Mm -hmm. So then from there, like I had a week off of work. So we scheduled the shoot during that week. And I wrote it specifically to be easy to shoot. Okay. Because I knew I had no money. Right. I wasn't going to write like, you know, bar fights and car chases and stuff because how am I going to do that with no money? <laughs> So we, we shot everything to be in, like, you know, friends' apartments or, like, my parents' house. And then that's where they find the body so that it would be really easy to film everything. And then, you know, we just uh, made a schedule and told everybody to be there at certain times. And uh, because they weren't paid, the lesson that I was told was that if you can't pay people, at least feed them well. So most of the budget for the movie, the 600 bucks, was to feed everybody. Oh, wow. So we, we, we had, like, pizza and beer and cookies and everything. Um, and, like, we bought a few props, like, fake, we made fake blood, and which doesn't really show up that much, but we did make it. Like, the knife was, <laughs> the knife was actually this, uh, it's a real old fighting knife from India that my dad brought back in, like, the <laughs> 70s. Oh, my God. That's awesome. So, like, it's super sharp, so it's really dangerous to use. <laughs> people, people kept cutting themselves on it, but, like, <laughs> it's like I had it, so I might as well use it. <laughs> yeah, so, like, the one thing that I did learn is that when you have actors that are only in a certain part of the movie, you should only give them that part of the script, because uh, there was a, like, they gave everybody the entire script, who we, we said was in the movie. And then this one actress who was supposed to be the girl who gets her heart pulled out, read the whole script and really hated it. And like <laughs> accused us of being misogynists and all this stuff. So oh she, my like, God. Pulled out, she pulled out of the movie. <laughs> and then I had to like get the girl who's in the movie now who gets her heart pulled out. It's just like a friend of mine who was available <laughs> like at short notice. <laughs> so like she didn't really want to be an actress or anything, but she was just like, yeah, sure, I'll come help you guys out. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so, like, yeah, so, I mean, it's when you have, like, any movie, you kind of have to just kind of fly by the seat of your pants. Yeah. But especially when you have no money because you can't really, you can't do anything else. Like, on a major Hollywood production, you can just hire people to do things, but you got to do it all yourself. And, wow. Right. Yeah, so then once it was shot, like, I had Final Cut Pro, and then I just learned it. Uh, it's kind of like a puzzle piece where you put everything together and like we didn't have a lot of cakes so it wasn't really super challenging to pick the ones that weren't screwed up but like I'm a way better editor now than I was then because I was just learning yeah. Yeah, right. the entire process but I did it all myself 
Nice. That that took a few months, I think. Okay. Uh, but like, if I remember correctly, I think we wrote it in March. We filmed it in May or June, and then it screened in, like, October. Wow. Jeez, that's pretty quick. I, I mean, I learned so much making that movie. Like, you learn you learn so much by actually doing it. And I bet. But even if you screw everything up, at least you learned, like, how to screw up. So, you know, to not screw up the next time. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, that's The Killing Death. Like, it was just, rather than getting kind of hung up on, oh, my God, this is, like, a huge project. It was like, well, I'll just do this step, and I'll do this step, and I'll do this step. And then eventually, it, all the steps are done, you have a movie. Wow. Huh. That's so cool. So if, if people can take away anything from that, I think they should take away that, like, you know, if I can make a movie, then any, any idiot can make a movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, don't get discouraged by, like, oh, my God, making a movie. Like, just kind of break it down into all its component pieces, like, Write a script, and if you have no money, then write a script that can be shot in as few locations as possible with as few actors as necessary, but, you know, still have, not that Killing Death has the greatest story, but still have, like, some kind of a story. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then just, like, don't worry if it sucks because you'll learn so much doing it, and then you can take that to the next one, the next one, the next one. Yeah, totally. That's really good advice. 